Hey everyone, in this video I'm gonna show you how you can apply multiple conditions to filter data that you may have it on Excel or Google Sheet and you want to apply those conditions and take a smaller slice or sample of the data. Now, for example, this is a, a practice fake data that I have for you. It could be similar to your purpose. Let's say I want to look at individuals. Uh, there are some information, contact information and job information that you have here in this, in this file. Let's say I want to look at those who have essentially who are senior or, or, and also their manager. So if you want to apply multiple um, filters such as this that they is some notion of seniority or managerial or other substring that included in their column or any other condition right that you want to look at only male or female or any other gender or specific postal codes you want to apply multiple conditions um, essentially there are two reasons that that could be hard to do directly in Google Sheet or Excel one is your data could be too low too big to um, essentially load the everything in Google Sheet and filter or it could be your conditions are a little bit complex so if you want to have two or or and condition in terms of whether they contain a string or not whether they contain both senior and manager as an example in job title that's hard to do or possible to do in Google Sheet or Excel so in that case and uh, how do you want to do that in a quick manner without any deep knowledge of programming with a ready-made uh, code that you can customize with your need and get your final answer a final file which is much smaller much more specific to your need it's easier to load and of course there are many reasons you may want to look at the data play with the data in excel or google sheet directly and in this case i'm gonna use essentially this script i the whole information the code everything is available for you you don't need to know any knowledge of Python, which is the program we're going to use. You don't need to install anything in your uh, system. You only need to have access to this uh, script, which is in Google Colab environment. It's an environment for Python coding uh, from, from Google. And you can, um, uh, I'm going to explain a step by step how we, uh, how we do things here and what's the customization you need to do. And then you can apply it whatever, based on your need. So in this example, the first uh, piece, you don't need to actually know what it's doing. If you're interested what it is, I have other videos when I explain how you connect this environment to your Google Drive or to your Google Sheet in your Google account so you can read the data from your Google Drive. So the data that we have here that I'm going to show you, in this case, you need to uh, upload the data in your Google Drive in this example. And I'm going to go ahead and run the first block to make that connection. Uh, once you run it from the first time, this is going to ask your permission or authentication to connect to the Google Drive, of course. And because both of them, Google Drive, Google Collab, is owned by Google, there is no um, privacy um, concern here. I go ahead, there's a new window open to me for me that essentially asks me the permission to sign in. So I go ahead and I allow the connection to my um, Google account and Google Drive and then after that after a couple of seconds you're gonna see a successful completion of the first part when you see a green check mark in here there you go now my Google uh, Drive is mounted now what is the path of your file again uh, the first three call the words you don't care about them they're the standard way um, where the main path of Google Drive after that just specify if what is a specific path for your folder in this case I have a folder called data when my CSV file actually exists there and the input I have is through a CSV file which again if you have your file in any other format it's easy there are other methods to convert it to a CSV and I have other videos when I explain how do you read Excel file or other formats in um, this for a platform as well so in this example we go ahead and run it and then we have our data read and loaded in this environment next step this is the main body this is the main section now imagine I want to my first condition is that I want to go ahead and look at the column postal code and just I'm interested in, in this specific postal code I want to give me the list of information for all individual when the postal code is equal to something like, like this right that's one example that you may have I call it condition one another condition that you may have is that again I go over I went over that with give me um, individuals when there is a mention of word senior in their job title 
and I don't care about that uh, being case sensitive that's why I have the case equal to false and again uh, you, your customization only you want to change the column name and the word that you look for if that's the condition you're interested and apply it and that's condition two let's say you have another condition as well and that is job title there is a mention of word manager right so that's another way and there are other ways to do it that's not the only way to uh, go ahead and um, find the substring like this in this case I only care about if this substring exists in the string of job letter job title sorry. so that's condition three now imagine I want to um, another I have another condition and uh, in that condition I want to look for if either of them is true if either there is a word senior or manager either of them exists in job title in that case I have condition two or so that's the sign for or and condition three um, so that's actually uh, or condition let me add another condition actually that is the and condition let's say I want to have both of them to be the case two and three in this case I change and that you only need to have this symbol and we want to have the and condition there you go and again these are the comments that I have these green uh, letters that you see they are not uh, gonna apply to the final they're just comment information the main file are these lines so we apply it let's say you customize it now you have your condition of need and let's say I look for condition 4 so in this case the next step I applied the condition uh, the name of the condition which is condition 4 here on the input data which is called data here and your final output is called out output simply and then we can overview the first file observation in that output which is there you go it's here I'm looking at all individual with either their senior or manager I have the list of information for the for other reason you may have similar examples and if you're interested how many rows we're talking about uh, in the final sample your initial input could be very large again that's one of the reason it's hard to work with but in this example my final sample has only 125 specific examples of individuals that I'm looking for that's my final data and I have 10 columns which is just different information that you see here and then I can save the output as a CS file which I can open it in Google Sheet or Excel file and I can work with it much simpler it's more specific to my need it's easier to load and I can go ahead and just run it and there you go your output is exist now in the same place that you have your input file in your Google Drive this is the data folder in my drive my google drive and my, that's the slice data csv file that you see there you go uh, you have your final uh, file and your customization as i said is just the name of the file the path of um, essentially in the google drive that you have and the other conditions that you may want to add and similarly you can have your output in this way if you're interested in similar methods when you can with minimal knowledge on programming uh, have ready-made codes ready-made templates when you can apply and answer your professional needs please consider subscribing and viewing other, other videos that we have for similar cases uh, in our channel thank you